Hello everyone, my name is Emily Golia. I'm an actor, singer, and creator here in Los Angeles, and I'm so excited to introduce you to model and actor, Amaril Helena Guidry. How's it going? Hi, hello guys, how are you? Good, I'm so glad that you're here with me. Uh, before we get started, I'm going to show everyone a little bit of you doing your thing. Awesome. So you're so talented and you're also a TikTok creator. Can you tell me um, like how you started moving from modeling into doing TikTok? Like, what was that transition like? Well, actually, TikTok came out of nowhere. Right. Um, I'm always on TikTok. It's something that, you know, I just go through. And one day I made a video of me doing a dance and it blew up and I was very confused because the next day I was like, wow, I did not expect that. So after that, it just started, I guess, climbing and climbing. So I was like, okay, I guess it's time to take TikTok seriously and, yeah. and actually start. <laughs> so, oh my gosh, I love that. So um, where were you born? Where'd you grow up? I was at? born in Lake Charles, Louisiana. Okay. Yeah. Awesome. Yes. So what brought you to Houston? Um, mostly work in family. A lot of my family actually moved to Houston and I'm a very family oriented person. So we all kind of just sh shifted over. Perfect. Yeah. So, um, when did you start getting interested in modeling and, and acting? Well, I was always interested in acting. If you ask my mother, when I was three, I told her I want to be an actress. I want to be on TV. I want to make movies and TV shows that make people feel all kinds of different ways. Like that was just something that I always wanted to do my whole life. And then as I got older, other people actually got me into modeling. So it was just acting at first. And then a lot of people would come up to me there and just be like, are you a model? Oh, you should model this. Like you need to be a model. And at first I was like, mm, okay. And then I was like, you know, let me actually give it a shot. And I gave it a shot and it actually worked in my favor. So, yeah. Oh my gosh. Okay. So how was like the pandemic for you? I mean, I know it's so crazy for all people, especially artists. So I love to know how you kept your creative juices flowing. Well, it was very hard in the modeling and acting side of it because a lot of productions shut down. You can't really do in-person casting. So um, you really have to get like really creative and use your imagination, especially when you're doing self-tapes because you have like one minute to show them your personality and you're not in public. So it, it really did hit hard, but I would say TikTok actually gave me like, it fit, like it got my creative juices flowing. It gave me something to actually start doing and not really focus on the fact that things are crazy outside. And it started, like I said, it started working in my favor, making videos. And a lot of people actually started to relate to my videos and like my videos. And the love was just amazing. So I would say my followers really kept me going through the pandemic. It's amazing. I mean, like the internet is so crazy that we can connect with people. I mean, even just like you and me connecting in LA and Houston, like the fact that you can reach out and like befriend and find people that are interested in the same things as you. And like, like this niche thing that like makes that you create that these people all around the world are relating to, like, it's just so amazing that you like found this one little this one thing that you do and it's it's just awesome I'm so impressed by that really cool. it was it was really surprising to me because I would see a lot of people on TikTok and they would have like a lot of views thousands of likes millions of likes and I'm like wow how do they do that like how did they get here because TikTok is something that I would say is kind of hard to actually get on yeah. but it can happen in an instant like it can happen like this if you have a video and they like it after that now you have to start pushing content so that's kind of what I started doing and the like I said the love from like the, my fans like the comments in the comment section blew my mind because 
I would always see the comments on other people's videos and I was like, oh, that's really cool. That's pretty cool. Yeah. And then now it's on my videos and everyone's talking about how, oh, we love you and we love your videos. I love, I watch your videos all day and it really like warms my heart wow. to just, to just see that I'm creating something that people want to watch, that people love to watch, that I've had people tell me, oh, you made my day. It's like your videos make my day. And that makes my day because right. it really oh. does. It feels amazing to know that we connected through the internet. And like, like, I feel great bringing joy to other people, even through times like this. So. Yeah, I mean, we need it. It's like art. Art is so important. Art's of art of all kinds. It's like yes. what is keeping us through. Um, yes. Do you have any advice for anyone out there, like in the acting world, in the modeling world, in the TikTok world? Like any little bits of wisdom you can tell us? So for the acting and the modeling, I'm working on this myself. So this is why <laughs> I can say. For new actors and new models that want to get into acting and want to get into modeling, it's not easy. It's not easy. It's a very, it's a very strenuous like process. So you have to be patient and you actually have to believe in yourself. Like you have to say, this is what I want and I'm going to keep working for you. You're going to fail. You're going to maybe not get the, get the role. You're probably going to mess up on the casting but you always take learning points from your last situation. So if you have a casting and you didn't get the role, go back and think, what did I do that I could do better next time? So like, don't give up because it's very hard. I, I promise it's not just snap of the fingers. No, you have to have patience. You have to be very persistent. Like you have to be on top and you have to have the determination in yourself to actually go. And for TikTokers, push content when I'm on live and they ask me they will like, they will say how did you like how do you get famous how do you get people to see your videos how do you do this push your content when I my first video that I posted that blew up when it blew up I think every day after that I was posting at least six TikToks a day and Whoa. every they would comment and they'll be like you stay on my for you page and I'm like that's that's exactly what I was going for so like push your content, like make your videos. Someone's gonna like you, oh, I promise. It's a job, it's like a full-time job, that's crazy. There, it, it really is, and, the, and a lot of people think, oh, you know, TikTok, it's just TikTok, you just make a video. It's very hard, it's not hard, it's just the creativity, you have to have an imagination, and you have to have, you have to find your niche, like you have to find what you do that you're good at, that people like to see you do. You can't, like, say you don't dance too much, but you want to follow the people that dance. If you're not a dancer, don't make dance videos. Find what is, like, right for you. If you're funny, make comedy videos. If you do nails, put your nails on TikTok. Like, I know so many people that love to see, like, art. Like, because now doing nails is also an art. It's very beautiful painting. If you paint, like just make your videos and put it out there. I promise you someone's going to see it and they're going to like it. Oh my gosh. Oh, I love it. Well, listen, I am so excited that you're going to be on the Phoenix platform because it's just, it's going to be another way for people to find all of your content and have this one-stop shop of everything of, of you. And, and I am, I can't wait to see what's next for you. You're so fascinating to me. I just like love oh, everything. You. <laughs> so thanks for meeting up with me and we'll talk soon. Of course. I definitely appreciate it. Yeah, of course. Have a good day. You too.